hey, Taurus, Simon Rising, Venus is Donna from Tarot. Tarot, hey, thank you for the uh, likes and shares and subscribes and donations. You guys are awesome. Um, I did a quick read, or I'm going to try to do a quick read for y'all. So um, we're doing um, Oracle cards here, and then um, what are they not telling you? Um, how do they feel about you? What they, you know, what are they going to actually do with you? And then um, what are they up to right now? So we're doing a little snooping. So. On the oracle cards, you get choose friends wisely, accept disappointments gracefully, live life to the fullest, laugh at your demons, and reach for the stars was on the bottom of the deck. And actually, the Aquarius read I did two reads ago also had um, accept disappointments gracefully and live life to the fullest. So maybe you have some Aquarius in your chart or you're dealing with Aquarius. I don't know. So um, what are they not telling you? The Knight of Swords, um, they're rushing to say something to somebody they're rushing in they're they're you're probably being very sharp with their tongue with somebody um right now yet oh and there's a lot of twos in here so that's your so decision making um where is it i get the two of pentacles um the two of wands the two of swords um and didn't i have the hangman twice maybe not okay so and all right so two of pentacles yeah so here's two of pentacles didn't I just see it again? Whatever. I'm getting whiffy now. All right. So long story short, you got you have several twos, um, and that shows decision making. So um, what they're not telling you um, that they're making a decision right now, that they're trying to, they've got decisions to make, or they're trying to make these decisions, um, and they may be a little bit um, blinded to um, what to do and where to go, where they want to go what to say what you know the, the decision making and then what they're going to do and where they're going to go um and then four of pentacles shows them holding on to something and feeling stuck they're not telling you but they're kind of feeling stuck right now too um what are they how do they feel about you they have the chariot the fool the daughter of scepters which is like the i think the page yeah page of um scepters is wands page of wands so and then the I, i'm still getting used to the uh the terror of the vampire deck um, we have the Gothic Tarot, Tarot of the Vampire, um, Steampunk Tarot, and then the regular um, Radiant Wise Tarot, which is the like the Rider Wake deck. So the Daughter of Scepters is like the Page of Wands. Um, so how do they feel about you? They feel like moving forward, um, taking a risk, um, being passionate, um, but at the same time, the Five of Pentacles is also feeling kind of poor like they don't have what they need um and yet they have the wheel of fortune here so that shows good luck um how do they feel about you so i mean overall it with the, the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck i see that as a good thing as far as how they feel about you what will they actually do with you um you've got the ten of cups i mean that's there's no i don't think as far as emotional you know fulfillment there's no better card than the ten of cups uh, King of Swords are going to be honest with you. They're going to be um, trying to have the Ten of Cups, which is the, the end-all, be-all, the, the most emotionally fulfilling you could have. Um, but they're going to be in their head. you got the Eight of Swords here, and then the Two of Pentacles. So they're they're weighing their options, and you got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So um, they're loving, but they're not very demonstrative of it. They're not really showy about it, but it's there. Um, what are they up to right now? Um, the Death card shows them ending something or you know, completely ending and transforming something. King of Swords is here again. So once again, um, and King, let's see, Carnival Fixed fix, uh, Air would be Aquarius. So that's, you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Again, I mentioned that before. Um, these two cards came out in the Aquarius read, so yeah. Um, and then you have this Seven of um, Pentacles and then the Seven of Wands, so a couple Sevens. Um, and didn't we have two Sixes? Uh, maybe not, maybe not. I'm getting the readings all mixed up right now. Um, I'm doing a lot of readings. I'm trying to do a lot in one short period of time because I have somebody about to show up any minute now to help mow the lawn. So, they're gonna, um, what are they doing right now? They're looking over um, things and how far things have come. Um, they're speaking their truth, they're being honest, and, um, and then they're being very defensive at the same time. But they're being successful or acting successful, maybe a little bit um, bossy or arrogant, I don't know. Because um, you got a little bit of an ego thing going on here. There's all, all wands cards. Um, 
so let's see, who are we reading for next? Taurus, who are we reading for next? We're reading for Scorpio next. All right, and six cards, Donna's Destiny cards, um, wild, or blank cards like wild cards means anything is possible. I know this was a fast read. I tried to do it as quickly as I could. Um, if you have anything in Aquarius, or if you're dealing with an Aquarius or a Scorpio, you might want to um, look at the, Scorp the Aquarius read or look at the next read, the Scorpio one. All right, and let's see. Again, thank you, by the way. Six cards, blind cards, like wild cards, anything is possible. And you have, <laughs> they're in the closet, pray more, they can't be trusted, watch your diet, people are gossiping about you, and it's difficult for them to apologize. All right, Taurus, someone rising in Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot. Thank you again, and we're doing the Scorpio read next. Love you.